Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you like my rolling 10 project pan. I never finish makeup products ever. I mean, well, rarely. I'm so bad at it. I've got loads of things that are really close to being finished, but they're just sitting in my drawer. So I kind of tried to do like a full face version of this last year and then it kind of fell by the wayside. So I've decided just to do a rolling 10 style project pan i think i've just been through my collection and i've pulled out 10 products that are so close to being finished that with a bit of effort they'll be done in no time and i can get them out of my collection and yeah that'll be 10 less products so i'm going to try and update monthly and then every time i finish something i can roll a different product in i'm going to be focusing just on makeup products it won't be skincare or anything else like that that can go into my other projects and yeah, I've got everything here. So there'll be a few things you might recognise from last year and from different um, projects and shop my stashes and stuff like that. But I just want to get it finished. So I will take photos and weigh everything. I'm going to try to be really good this year. And so that next time when we come in, if something's not finished, we can do a comparison photo rather than me just telling you weights and things. I think it's always good to get a visual sort of, what's the, a visual guide of how things are going so we're starting off with i have got this um foundation and look there's that left in it how ridiculous i'm pretty good at finishing foundations generally i don't know why this little bit's left i don't know if it's okay if it's not it is from max fat it's a skin luminizer miracle foundation it's in the shade golden 75 it may be too dark for me if it is we'll just work with it we'll try and see what we can do um or i can mix it in with paler foundations and just get it done and get it out um I've actually got, let me just, we'll do a little wait anyway, but I will mark this with a pen and as I say, I'll take photos as well. Um, so I've had this for so long and it'd be great just to get it out of my collection. So this one weighs 32.33 grams and there we are, that's product number one. Um, this is in no particular order, so it's not how I put my makeup on and it's not a full face. Although it's not far off it, to be fair. Um, I have got this Anna Sui primer. I've had this in something else before and I just never, ever got it finished. And to be honest, it's so close to being done that it just needs to be finished. <laughs> it's a really weird sort of consistency. Um, you can see that, look, it's almost done. It's so thick. Um, and then it'll settle and go back down um like some weird magical liquid <laughs> um so we'll take photos of that once it's settled but yeah we'll see how we get on with it and it might help lighten up that other foundation as well weight for this starting weight is 17.78 grams cool next thing we've got is we've got some setting spray it is from urban decay it is the all-nighter and listen Seriously, there must be like that much left in the bottom. I don't use setting spray very often. Um, I have got other things in other projects, but I'm just going to focus on this first to get it out, get my numbers down, and then it'll be mission achieved. <laughs> I'm just choosing things that are really easy to finish. That's the whole aim of this project. I will literally be scouring my products and then it maybe become a bit more challenging um, as we go through the year. But um, we'll see. <laughs> And um, this one weighs 17.85 and that really should be done next time. I have got a brow gel here from the Beauty Crop. It's just a clear brow gel. And I was going to declutter it before because it looks really grimy, but it's just because it's clear packaging. And obviously it transfers in the colour from your brow products. I've got eyeliner on my pet, on my finger, sorry. Um, so it always looks a bit grotty, but it's just because it's clear packaging. It's about halfway down. As far as I know, this is my closest one to being finished. Um, I don't use brow gels all the time, but I do want to try and get into doing it. And hopefully, a little bit of work, we'll get that one done. I'm expecting this still to be in next time. It's currently sat kind of like where that dot is. And it weighs, oh, eight grams, exactly. So yeah, we'll see how we get. It'll be fun to track that progress of that one. We have got a lip gloss from Too Faced. It's a Funkfetti lip gloss, ultra plush lip gloss. This is so nice. It's not quite settled yet, but to be honest, I think it's down about here. Um, it is, there's not a lot in there. 
I do reckon it's maybe about a third left. Not even that, actually. I think it's about here. It is a lovely, lovely one. I'll probably need to take the stopper out soon. It's quite silky from what I remember. It's a long time since I've used it, actually. But it's a really nice colour. Really, really lovely. Very comfortable. So, yeah, we will um, work our way down that. I'm going to let that settle a bit. Then I'll take photos once it's all settled. Maybe a couple of months to finish it. Who knows? Another lip. I've got a few lip things here. I have got hundreds of lip products. I'm just so overwhelmed with them. So I'm just really going to be focusing, looking at what's got little nibs in and things like that. I have got a lip balm here. It's just one of the um, EOS balms. It's nearly done. I just want to get it flat. Um, it's not that much. It looks a bit grim. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, it's a it's still a really nice balm. So yeah, I just want to get it so it is flat. I'm not going to be... I don't think I'll scoop it out afterwards. We'll see how much, I don't know how deep it goes. So let's get it flat and then see, have you used one of these before? Have you finished one? Does it go like into the bottom part of the egg or is it just pretty much done once you get there? Um, I've never ever finished one of these before. I'd be quite interested. It has got bits of lipstick and all sorts on it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, it used to be minty, I think. It's still got a bit of a mint smell about it but it's handy because i can keep it in my pocket at work i don't need to put my fingers in it and i can just literally bob it on i think i should get this done fairly quick i'm going to use this as my work lip balm i think and then i'll be on to a winner this is going to be done literally it's, it's ridiculous it's a charlotte tilbury pillow talk it's a little mini i have got another mini um sat by look it's nearly finished I might even scoop that out and then um, try and finish it off, but just get it flat. It is virtually done. I don't know why it's still in my collection because I can still put some on. And I might even scoop it out and use it as a, a liquid blush as well, maybe. So that's that. I have got a blusher. I need to repress this. It's a L'Oreal Le Blush in the shade. I can't see the shade on it. I've had this for so long. It's virtually finished and you can just see it's broken. So I will repress that into that pan and then um, I'll take photos. Let me just weigh it now. It may weigh slightly different once the alcohol's in, but that should just evaporate off, shouldn't it? Um, 24.51, but I'll repress it, share a photo on my Instagram and I'll show you the photo next time so you can see how much was in there. I mean, it's not going to be a lot, but it'll be easier to use and it'll be done, I reckon, within a couple of weeks. We have got a little mascara from Charlotte Tilbury and this is virtually done. I don't know if I should be keeping putting mascaras into this project or not, but we'll do it today. I'll, is that tube meant to be so hard? That tube is solid. Is that what they're normally like? Um, but yeah, I've got it in today to make my 10 up. I literally just thought on the way, oh, I want to film this, I want to film it. So I thought I'll film it now whilst I've got a chance because once I'm back at work on Wednesdays, my time just goes so quick. Um, so I've got that one in, that should be out. And then finally, I never, ever, ever, well, very rare, finish eyeliners. And look at this little CRT. Um, I've just shown this in Shop My Stash and I thought, oh, I'll pull that into this project now. So it's got a little brush on one side. So you can literally see that is all that's left. It was really big to begin with. And it's a really, really lovely eyeliner. I'm glad I've got this bit on the end because it means I'll be able to use it right to the end and I've still got something to hold on to. So it makes it easier to do and easier to sharpen. So hopefully... That'll be gone. I will measure it. We're up to the, as of, well, you can see there the lettering there. Let me show you that. But I will measure it. But the weight of it with the both lids on is, stay still, 2.80 grams. So this is everything that I'm going to be doing. So I've got my Urban Decay All Nighter. The Max Factor Foundation, the Funk Fetty Too Faced Lip Gloss, that little diddy biddy snub of eyeliner from Ciate, the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Mascara, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick, 
the L'Oreal blusher, which is crumbled and virtually finished, and the Sui. I bet you that's settled already. Oh, not quite, but it's nearly settled. Look, um, the Anna Sui primer, Beauty Crop Clear brow gel, and then the EOS lip balm. So that's everything. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you're doing something similar. If you see anything it, when I'm doing my shop moustache or other videos that you think would be perfect for this and I've not spotted it, let me know and I'm about to pull it in. Um, so yeah, that's everything for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Oh, 10 minutes. That's good. <laughs> Bye for now.